What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's a Greek here coming at you with another video, and today we're talking about overclocking graphics cards. Mainly mine though. So as I said, today we're overclocking my graphics card like I promised you in the last video. Now, things you should know about me, I'm not an expert overclocker like some other people you might know. But overclocking has become relatively easier as of, you know, the past couple years um, when it comes to graphics cards. I'm not saying it's incredibly easy, but it's it's somewhat easier because you have Catalyst software for AMD where you, all you have to do is just type in a couple numbers if you really want or just move the slider, that's it. Uh, NVIDIA has a GeForce experience where you can do the same thing. And uh, it's not as difficult as overclocking a CPU. They're, honestly, they're both not that easy. Uh, the only problem with the CPU is that if you overclock from the BIOS and you don't use software like um, like AMD Overdrive or I don't know what else you could use, but um, for me AMD Overdrive, uh, you have to you know restart the computer and start it up again. If you don't have a solid state drive, it takes up a lot of time. And and a lot of a lot about overclocking is trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. And that's why it takes so long to overclock and get a good working stable overclock, whether it's your CPU or your GPU. And like I said before, I'm not really a master overclocker, so, you know, most of the time I'm just winging it, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So, I'm going to get to it, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Alright guys, so it's been quite some time now I've been going at this, and uh, if anyone ever tells you that overclocking a graphics card or a processor is easy, it's not because it's a lot of trial and error and it's a lot of just being like oh why won't this you know why won't this go above a certain voltage or yeah or something it's always something so if anyone ever tells you that it's easy it's not um, so what we're gonna talk about real quick is we're gonna talk about stock versus overclocked now <clears throat> I ran benchmarks at stock settings for a baseline reference and then I ran them at overclocked now, I use two different programs to do the benchmarking. Uh, the main one that I used was the Unigen Heaven. And uh, it's a good benchmarker. It's a good program. I like it. It's free. It's pretty awesome. So, now, my... I'm, I'm looking over here because I got stuff on the other screen over here. So, um, my stock settings for my GPU were... The, uh, the GPU clock speed was 980 megahertz. That's straight from XFX, like straight as you get it. Put it in, that's what you get, bam. My memory clock was 1250 megahertz. And my max temperature that I've gotten on stock, set, on stock was 75 degrees Celsius. That's it. So for the Unigen Heaven benchmark on stock, I got a minimum FPS of 21.3, a maximum FPS of 102.6, and a, an average FPS of 50.5 with a score of 1272. Now that's on stock settings. With um, Direct, DirectX 11, uh, it was 1080, it was 1920 19, by 1080, uh, eight times anti-aliasing, and ultra quality with extreme tessellation. I threw everything at it. So that was just stock. Um, I also did um, Bioshock. Um, I did the bio I did the Bioshock uh, benchmark, but I forgot to record the max. Uh, so that's whatever. We're mainly going to use Unigen Heaven just for shits and giggles. For Bioshock, my Minimum was 28.75, my ma my maximum was 176.41, and my average was 81.54 frames per second. So, But anyways, so after a lot of trial and error, and a couple blue screens, and a couple of times my computer freezing and crashing because I went 
too much with the overclocking. I got my my sweet spot, I should say, for for my for my uh, graphics card. Now I'm using MSI Afterburner. I I was gonna use the Catalyst, but I just didn't like it. So and I'm more familiar with MSI Afterburner. MSI Afterburner, by the way, if you want to overclock your graphics card, is possibly the best program you can get because there's so much customization. It's it's awesome. Download it. I highly recommend it. it works with every graphics card. So. Um, I left the voltage the way it is. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not that good at overclocking, so I left the voltage just where it is. It's not up. It's not overvolted. It's not undervolted. Nothing. It's just stock the way it is. Um, I raised the power limit to, to plus 30, so it's 30%. Uh, the core clock is 1100 megahertz, and the memory clock is 1375, which is a pretty decent overclock. Um, it's a full... 120 megahertz over the stock clock, so pretty awesome if you ask me. And um, my Unigen Heaven benchmark, the best that I got, I gotta find it real quick. Here we go. Okay. I went from 50.5 FPS to 54.9. <laughs> so... That's the average FPS. My minimum FPS was 21.2, which is worse, actually. And my maximum FPS is 112 flat, with a score of 1382. And like I said, I did Bioshock, and I, uh, I went back and looked for my results for my overclocking on the Bioshock. Um... And like I said, Bioshock, I don't know if I said it before, but my uh, results on Bioshock were my minimum frame rate was 28.75, 28 my maximum was 176.41, and my average was 81.54. That was just on stock settings. And my overclocked results were 35.29 minimum. 184.91 maximum and an average frame rate of 88.46 now what do you take away from this video um, you can expect advantages and some FPS gain to overclocking you're not gonna see 20 30 FPS gains from overclocking it's just it's just not gonna happen um, some graphics cards will overclock better than others. I think I got a particularly decent graphic, uh, overclocking card. And this isn't by any means the last time I'm going to be messing around overclocking with my GPU. Um, after this is over, um, I will go and, you know, uh, do some research on, on voltage, um, and look and see what more I can get out of it because honestly if you're gonna get a high-end graphics card like mine or any graphics card at all or a, a decent CPU you should overclock it if you have the adequate cooling um, now with the temperatures on my graphics card um, the most that I ever saw the temperatures get up to was 78 degrees um, and that was it 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 would it would hover between 75 and 78 degrees. It, I never saw it go higher, and um, and that's pretty good for an air cooled graphics card. Will I liquid cool it one day? Maybe who knows. Um, but I'm very happy with this card. I'm very pleased with the performance, and it's just it's an all around solid card, and um, I love it really do really really do so that's it um, like I said earlier I'm not the I'm not an expert at overclocking um, I would say that I'm an amateur at best and uh, take everything that I said with a grain of salt because even if you have the same exact configuration like I do if you have an 8350 uh, same motherboard same graphics card same everything even if you had all that you will not get the same results that I did because all graphics cards are different, all CPUs are different, 
Some overclock well, some some don't overclock as well. It's just the way it is. It's playing the silicone lottery, like Jay says. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to leave me a like and drop me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, click subscribe because next time. Shit just got real. Later, guys.